Hi everyone, my name is Zizat Rodriguez and my partner is Monica. We are doing a 10 frames TK through third grade. Okay, so here is a brief overview of the 10 frame. Uh, what it is, a 10 frame is a two by five rectangular frame into which counters are placed to demonstrate numbers less than or equal to 10. Uh, counters can be arranged in different ways to represent different numbers, which is visually um, which is used to visually help children develop a stronger number sense. It's used to teach number sense, counting, adding, subtracting, composing, decomposing, decomposing numbers, um, how it helps students access math content. Uh, the 10 frame provides a visual for students and gives them a chance to work with the number and not just memorize it. And then here is just a sample of what the 10 frame looks like. Um, so maybe you can have students build numbers up to 10 or 20, um, depending on how many 10 frames you give them. These are the CSA um, phases. So the first phase is the concrete phase. In the concrete phase, um, how you would use 10 frames, uh, you would during this stage, students use hands-on manipulatives like the 10 frame to express their thinking. So just like how we see these uh, two little girls in the classroom um, using the hands-on manipulatives, these are the 10 frames that they are using and um, they are using the counters, which are the little circles. Um, sometimes they are one color, sometimes they are double-sided with different colors. Um, in this stage, 10 frames can be used to represent numbers, model addition and subtraction, or to compose and decompose numbers. Manipulatives that can be used in the concrete phase. Um, here we have provided a digital 10 frame tool um, by clicking this link. We uh, also put on here counters. These are the double sided kind of like counters or like chips that um, they can use to fill in the frame. Here's a 10 frame mat. This one has double for um, in case you want to build numbers up to 20. Um, there also is magnetic 10 frame paddles. These are paddles that students can use to write their equations, represent their number with the counters, and then uh, flip when the teacher is ready for everyone to share. Other ways of using manipulatives, you can use pom-poms and erasers, or pretty much anything that can be like, um, maybe pick two colors of something, and that can always be used as well. A sample activity for the concrete phase. We have a flash activity. This can work um, with students anywhere from kindergarten up to maybe first, even second grade uh, to play flash. Um, you help, it helps students practice modeling numbers or modeling addition equations. So the directions are very simple. And if you click on the pictures on the right, they are linked to um, websites where you can access these worksheets. Uh, you would give each student a double, ten, double 10 frame mat, and then you would create flashcards, either just numbers or addition equations. And basically you just show the student a card and tell them to represent this number with their manipulative in a virtual classroom to do this digitally, you would of course need your um, digital uh, 10 frame, the one that is provided on the, on the slides. So now we have the second phase, which is the semi-concrete phase. In this stage, students are creating their own representation. So this can be done through drawing pictures, creating a display, modeling with the computer or using things that they find around the house or in the classroom. These are some examples here on the side of how students are creating their own representation using the 10 frames. A sample activity that we have is model a number. So what you would do is assign a number or an addition equation to each student, have students make a 10 frame to model, to represent the number of equation and you would allow for your students to be creative. On the side here, we do have examples of what it could look like. So we have Legos and they're using Legos to create their uh, 10 frame. 
we have egg cartons and they're using little egg um, figurines and we also have flowers. The students may use anything they have access to to make their model. It could be through drawing or pretty much anything that they have access to. The abstract phase is the third phase. In this step, um, we are taking it to the next step and having the students transition from using the visual representation to using numbers and equations. We will take the 10 frame and have the students create addition or subtraction equations. Um, with the 10 frame in the abstract phase, we thought of doing an addition subtraction situation where have, we would have students work on addition and subtracting and they would use the 10 frame if they need to. For younger students in TK or kindergarten, they may still need to use the visual to help with calculating. The sample activity would be um, an adding and subtracting 10 frame worksheet and a vi um, virtual dice or a die if you're in the classroom with a pencil or different colored crayons or markers. The activity would be for them to have this worksheet that they have on the side. Um, over here on this side where it says worksheet, it is linked to the website where I found this worksheet so that you could have access to the uh, variety of worksheets that were on that link. It could be from addition or subtraction. There is even one where it is combining both addition and subtraction. And for the activity, the students will roll the dice and fill in the blank spaces and either add or subtract the two numbers. And they will use the blank 10 frame on the side to show their work. Here are extra resources. On the side, we have a video of a song to introduce 10 frames to students. And then on the other side, we also have other links for other ideas, use 10 frames. There are 10 frame games, 10 frames at home activities if they are at home and the parents want to be involved in what they're doing. There is a link right there for that. And then there is also other 10 frame manipulatives that I have found that are right here. Okay, so this is our class activity. Um, Today we are going to practice the concrete phase using this digital tool. Um, it is a 10 frame digital tool. So if you click on the link on the slide, it should take you to the digital tool. It looks like this. Okay. And then we will begin the activity. Okay. Um, as I go through the flashcards, I am going to model the first one for you. And then um, there will be three more flashcards. You can pick one to take a screenshot of and then share in the Padlet um, link that is also in our presentation slides. Okay. okay, so the first card says um, to model the number 11. Okay, so you would model the number 11. I will show you how to model this. And then, like I said, um, there will be three more opportunities of um, three more flashcards that you can choose from to model, take a screenshot, and then share your response in the Padlet. Okay. So number 11, this is how you would model it. Um, up on the top left corner, you have your Choose a, choose a frame, okay, for this activity, we're going to use the 10 frame. So if you click on the 10 frame, you get a 10, a 10 frame. Um, I'll have you choose two, just in case it's a bigger number, okay. Um, so for this one, you're going to model the number 11. So what you would do is you can either choose one chip at a time, five at a time, or 10 at a time. Um, you can use 10 if you know that it's 10 and then one more. Okay, so here I have modeled the number 11. Okay, and then once you are ready to try a different one, you can click the refresh tool and clear all. Okay, so again, the 10 frame is here. You can use one counter at a time 
we can use five at once or 10 at once. Uh, your choice on how you want to do that. Okay. Right, so we model number 11. The next flashcard is the number 15. So model the number 15. Then here's an example of a addition equation. So you would model adding eight plus five. So model eight plus five on your 10 frame. And we also have seven plus three. So you would model seven plus three. Okay, so please choose one of these flashcards to model, um, either 15, eight plus five, or seven plus three. Please take a screenshot and share your response on our Padlet. So if you click on slide 18, you have the Padlet link that will take you to our Padlet. And please make sure you click on the plus sign, add your name and share your response. Okay, so that was our, the end of our presentation. Thank you. Thank you everyone. The links you will need to complete this activity, including this presentation will be found in the blog section on Blackboard. Thank you.